Well, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Master the NEC where I talk about the National Electrical Code. Except today's episode, I'm excited to launch a second new course, actually the third new course for Electrical Code Academy Incorporated. We're excited. This is our Residential Wiring 101. Now, let me tell you what it's designed for. Now, you might have watched our video on our Commercial Wiring 101, and you kind of get the understanding of this is actually uh, a course. It could You get access to this for 365 days, okay? And it can be extended. Uh, you can buy another program and get back into it again and do it another year. But this is designed to be for a apprentice or a journeyman or even a master who wants to learn more about residential wiring. And we're not talking about just putting in staples and things like that. Now, you have to learn the part in the field. But you also helps to, while you're learning, have your students or have your staff or have your employees working through our program in order to understand all of the concepts of conductor sizing, overcurrent device, load calculations, everything that you need to learn to be a, an electrician. Okay, so I want to talk to you about this course. So as you know, Electrical Code Academy has created a grounding and bonding course, which is 365 uh, day course. We created a commercial wiring 101. Hope you watch that video. Um, and you see all the things that it can do uh, from plans, it, from reading blueprints and everything. Um, now you have residential. Now residential is extensive. There's 33 chapters in this program, not to mention over a thousand questions that get asked based on the material as well as electrical exam type questions. You get access to that uh, database as well. But what I'm most excited about is we're able to bring this course now through Electrical Code Academy as an official academy. We can bring you your corporation, for example. You might have 50 employees, 100 employees, 1,000 employees. It doesn't matter. We have package deals that allow you to have your students or your employees to gain access and go through these courses. Now we can monitor and we do this part of the package. We monitor their attendance, their grades, their, their progress. Uh, they give instant access to us. Um, they get their own login. Everything that they need, they get their own keys uh, in order to be able to get in and we keep track of it. Now they'll also have chapter quizzes and chapter reviews. The chapter reviews, they have to physically fill in the information. It means they had to read the material. Then they submit it to us and we personally will grade it and we will give help, motivation, uh, explain something that they might not understand the concept of. Um, we do that. So they learn during the whole process. There's nothing else like it on the industry, just like our Commercial Wiring 101. Um, you're not just getting the book. What you're getting is interaction and then you're getting access to us. When we're doing the grading, we're doing the the looking at the algorithm of each student and what they're doing, uh, and we're providing you the feedback to that weekly if you have a group of employees that are in this program. Now, if you're an individual and you want to get in the program, it's perfectly acceptable. You can get into this program um, and learn everything you need to know about being a residential electrician. Now, you got the hands-on. I can't teach you that. But what I can do is tell you that in this program, we have a lot of what we call lab work. What does that mean? We're going to test your knowledge. We're going to make sure that you do those things in the field and you fill out the lab work. Look, it's a lot of information and I'm more than happy for our office to talk to anybody in your office or to you individually about all the things that this program can offer, how we integrate it here at Electrical Code Academy Incorporated, what we're doing on the back end, how we're monitoring it, uh, and how we're giving you reports. Um, and you'll get grades in uh, everything you'll get fully up to date if you're the administrator. If you're an individual student, you'll get access to see your own grades. You'll be able to see it, okay? But we monitor it, all right? So, end of the day, I can talk about it, but I need to show it to you. So here's the program. It is the Electrical Code Academy Residential Wiring. As you can see here, there are 33 chapters. There's also labs. There's also blueprints. That's amazing. You can print out the blueprints in order to practice laying it out. They're, they're set up so you can lay them out and get used to laying out electrical, which typically in residential, we don't get blueprints that are already laid out for us. We learn to lay those things out in the field. And this program will talk about that layout and we'll talk you through each chapter, which kind of moves you through the sequence of how you would lay out a house. 
um, even all the way down to where you finally get to the service information and calculations and we just kind of move you through it all. Um, but the blueprints allow you to actually have blueprints of an actual dwelling that you can print out and draw on and mark on and the document makes reference to certain blueprints so that you can correlate the two so you can look at it and you can say well I see what the book is talking about this is the foyer or this is the bedroom all that's integrated into this program I'm only touching the tip of what this is going to do for your students or for your faculty or your electricians or for you individually no other program has been like this okay because this is like an apprenticeship program in a package online that you can do with a current program that you're on this kind of tests your knowledge but if you're not in the program and you really want to hone your skills as an apprentice or as a journeyman who wants to become a master these are the things you need to learn and this can make you a better electrician okay now blueprints and again you get access to our exam question database that's over 800 questions not to mention the the numerous questions you get during the program which takes you over a thousand plus questions on this topic alone okay so in all these chapters we're just going to dabble in it and kind of show you how it moves through everything now other thing that's a bonus is this there's a lot of simulations in here. These are actually 3D simulations and you know I'm not a big fan of them, but they're here for you to play with and you get full access to them. So it's 3D simulations. You get to pick violations and pick things that go wiring and and look at it and see it and, and point out things and it's just amazing. All included in here for you and your students or your employees or for you. If you want to learn about being a journeyman electrician or get into the field, uh, maybe you're a helper and you really want to move to that next level. This is the process for you. This is what you do. You work during the day, you get these hands dirty, you get the calluses on them, and then you come and you study and you learn all those things. Because when you're learning this, you're learning not only code, but you're learning how to wire it and what it means. Why are we determining the required number of brand circuits? How do we do it? Why do we do it? This program teaches that. It teaches you electrical symbols. Okay, it talks about all the different specifications that are associated with the residential wiring. I'm just touching the tip of the iceberg here. Now, I do want to show you some of the functions of this program that the students are going to get. So the first things we'll go is let's just go into this one right here. We'll look at the they determine the required number of brand circuits, lighting outlets, and what have you. You have an overview, which gives you the overview of the chapter, what the objectives are that you're going to learn, uh, and I encourage you to read them. And then you get what's called the reading material. There's a lot of reading here, but I'm a big believer in sensories, which means that you got to read it, it's nice to hear it, and you have to see it. Okay, not different than reading and seeing. I'm talking about the graphics and the images, the reading of the text, the possible hearing of the text or videos or podcasts, all those type of things. We integrate all those senses to help you learn. Nobody else has done it before. Let me talk to you about this. Let's go in and look at a sample. Sure, you can go to a community college. You can go to an apprenticeship school like I went to, uh, to a school and for many years and, and honed my skills. And you might not have that luxury, or maybe you are doing it, or maybe we even have possibly vocational schools that will utilize this program because it's graded and it makes it easy. And you can print out the lessons and the instructor can use it specifically with this class. Then they go on to their assigned program and they take the quizzes, they take the tests, and we track the grades and we submit the report to the administrator, the instructor, or whoever it is, the employer, whatever it might be. So a couple things to look at. So here's a neat thing within it. So you kind of get a lot of reading. You navigate back and forth through here, or you can click up here to go to the content if you want to go that route. But let me go back to where we're at here. So you get your objectives and you kind of move through the objectives. Now you get to the introduction. Now, here's a couple things you can do. If this text isn't is good enough, for, it's too big, and you want to go smaller, you got these options. Okay, I can change the size of my text. So now I'm reading it, and I have to be able to read it and comprehend it. That's an important thing. You know what? Especially if you're ever going to get involved in the National Electrical Code, you got to be able to read it. You got to be able to comprehend it. So you read it. But here's another thing. Say I'm not feeling it tonight. I just don't want to read it. I can read it, I'll follow along, but I sure wish somebody would talk to me. Well, check this out. I'm gonna highlight it. 
and I'm gonna go up here and click this little feature right here or you could do it over here here's where you change the the dialect of it or speed them up or down if you want but I'm gonna choose this one and to listen this chapter focuses on lighting branch circuits the circuits supplying the electric range oven closed dryer and other specific circuits. now what's important about that I'm a big believer is that you can listen but you read it and you follow along with the moving cursor it brings those senses now you don't like that voice okay well you can click on the real speaker here and the real speaker you can go over and I can change it and let's go to let's go to a British male and let's go yeah we'll still keep it on medium speed and let's do this again check this out maybe it's easier to hear this chapter focuses on lighting branch circuits the circuits supplying the electric range oven clothes dryer and other specific circuitry not so follow like I say the bouncing ball okay this right here read along listen to it all of these things work together to help you retain it okay you're gonna move through the program and there is a load of graphics that help hammer it home some of the best graphics in the industry these graphics are created by Phil Simmons there's only a few of us out there I create graphics as well there's only a few of us out there that use a uh, graphic design product called Corel draw there's other things to use but you'll find that most of the ones that do electrical graphics we, we tend to use Corel draw Phil uses Corel, Corel draw and he is a master at it so these anytime you see highlights that let you know with an asterisk that that's direct copy from the National Electrical Code for accuracy. Okay, now all of it's in here. You'll see code references, uh, and here's the other feature. Okay, let's say something I don't understand. Overcurrent device. All right, so I got this overcurrent device here, and I'm going. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I can go and let's just see. I want to highlight this, and I'll highlight it. Okay, now if I click on it. I can also add a note. Ask Paul or ask whoever. Now, you save it. It puts a little notice here. You know, over here inside of your study hub, this is neat now. What it does is it actually will put this information that you highlighted and the note right here. And there it is. Ask Paul. And you highlight it over current, over current. Whatever you highlight, you put it here, and it will correlate with the note so that you can ask questions and you can highlight something if you don't understand it so that you can send it into us. So that's the other unique thing about this program or any of our programs. You get exclusive to us a special area in order to be able to post this stuff uh, on our website, and you get access to it. You can post the question, and it gets answered by experts. That's the beauty of this program. So you're not just buying a book, you're actually immersed in it and you get feedback. You can print any of this out that you might have, that you might want, okay? So anyway, that's kind of how that goes down, all the way down. Now, if you wanna get rid of the note, after you maybe you're clear on what it is, you just click delete note, it'll ask you, and you just delete it. I guess, or maybe I didn't click it. All right, well, maybe it didn't delete it. Maybe it's important. It's an important note. So uh, just to show you, another way is to go in here. Oh, it is. It's just not showing up. The note is actually deleted. So when I probably refresh it, then it would probably go away. See, there it goes away. All right, so the key thing to remember is you have all this now what I say about the quizzes again I told you there's review questions at end of every chapter and your employee has to actually answer these questions physically just like that they have to answer these by reading the material and then what they'll do is after they fill in everything see here they can choose include or not include they got to fill it in the answer then they come down here and they'll submit it if they're not done with it, they can save it and come back later, or they can even print it out, fill it out by hand, and then upload it here, and we will still get it in their student file, and we will still grade it. So that's what we do as well. We're going to grade their work, offer them advice, encouragement, 
explain why they got something wrong and tell them where to go to in the material in order to read it again. We do that here. That's what Electrical Code Academy is doing for you. So whether you buy the corporate package and you get, say, a package of 50 keys for all your employees or 10 of your employees or however you want to do it, or you're just an individual who buys one key from us in order to get into our program, then you get access to all this. You get access to us. You get access to private areas on our website where you can ask these questions and get responses that you can go take them to the bank. Okay, we're experts in this industry. All right, so this is something that's really gonna help you. All right, now, that's just the part where we interact. They also have quizzes they have to take. Again, this is all immersive for them. All right, all done online, all done like they're logging into their own little university portal and they're dedicated to learning. So here you go. The estimate, the estimate to total load for a dwelling, the blank of the dwelling must be calculated. The living, occupied floor area, excess uh, excess storage or unoccupied room well we know that you got to worry about the occupied floor area now I can check my work that's correct they have to go through and answer every one of these okay and they can go to the end this is really just to check their their knowledge they can submit it to be graded but they can check their work the thing about it is you can't change a question if they got it wrong they can't go back it won't allow them to change it so they can check their work but once they selected it they selected it okay so they can't cheat we will know and we will track these these scores now where do we track these scores we track that in our database console and we can give you a weekly report a monthly report daily report on an individual student that you want to ask maybe how your one employee is doing and you want to know we can give you that database you call us you talk to me Brittany or Darlene or Zach or whoever can give you that information once you give us their their ID uh, and here there'll be a roster uh, there'll be settings. We can set things like late policies if they need to have their assignments done every week because that's what's in your terms. Um, grade books. Here's where we can see a grade book report. For example, no students are in this program example, but here each one of these dots represents the grades and averages and we can go down and find it per individual test for each student or get a total class. We can even identify who's falling behind and we can identify that for you if you're the employee or you're the instructor or whatever. You get to use our program in order to enhance your program, okay? No longer do you have to have a, a very expensive training facility to do testing on, you can teach them in the field, but then we'll take care of the classwork learning all the things that they need to learn and then what's the beauty of it is we also have the labs the labs allows them to put what you've learned into practice in the field okay and that's what it does uh, GFCIs arc fault circuit interrupters and luminaires you see how this kind of works through it hallways and bathrooms front entry porches post lights uh, lighting brand circuits and small appliance brand circuits for kitchens again goes through all of it I just go into it because I get so excited when I see it uh, over here. Here's the kitchen. So we'll click on kitchen and you'll see that it goes through the material. You can have it read it to you or whatever. You follow along with it. Gives you code references and here it starts giving you some sample layouts and it talks about figure 12-1 and here you see it references and you can skip right to it. You can blow it up if you want over here. You want to blow it up and, and do whatever you want. You want to blow it up so you want to see it a little bit better. You want to print it out. Then you have the option right there to print this out. Okay. You can right click. You can save the image. Whatever you need to do. Okay. But it gives you all the information here. Okay. So here's some more tables that references in it. Look, there is so much to learn here. Uh, you have access to the full book at any time over here so if you're taking the quiz over here and you want to go back in the program but you want to look something up you can go right to the chapter you're working on and click on it and here's where we were earlier and you can go right to the basics of loads and this is the same thing you get in here it just allows you to be able to work through the book and you can it'll read it to you the same way in here as it did in the other one I'll just give you an example of that the opacity current carrying capacity of a conductor generally must not be less than the rating of the overcurrent device protecting the opacity. So the unique thing about this 
is that you listen, you read along with the moving cursor. It helps do something. It helps you memorize things. And that's what this whole course is based around. We've also interjected some of our podcasts, some of our videos. Uh, we will offer webinars exclusively to your students uh, in this program. I don't know what else to say about it. We are excited about it. Uh, it covers a lot. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Overcurrent fuses, circuit breakers gets extensive. And it's all accessible to you. The labs are amazing too. I just got to show you a lab. So, for example, um, conductor stripping and, con and uh, connection techniques. I'm just going to click this just to show you what it, all you're getting in this package. You can print these out as well, mind you. Here, lab exercise. After the completion of this lab, the student should, and you know how to do all these things. So, here's what you need, which you will get is your employer will provide this or you will get it and you will go through all these exercises and then you will submit it okay because there's certain techniques that you'll follow and then down here at the end you've got things that you need to fill out the instructor will initial and the instructor usually is going to be your boss or whoever's the lead on a project or the master electrician okay all of those type of things we even have a program where you can send in video of doing all this lab work and we are the instructors that will initial off on it for your employer and it's a unique program we have the ability for you to upload these videos you can do it from your phone you just go through the lab however you set the program up through your corporation or individually we will be the ones that ensure that you do it right okay so this is is a lot of details that we can talk to you about if you're interested in this program for yourself or for your uh, employees uh, or for your apprentice association or for your school or however you want to use the program we will run the backbone we will do the grading we will do the monitoring we will do the analysis we will do the motivation to the students we will keep track of their progress uh, they have access to everything here single pole switches dimmer switches three-way switches combination light uh, circuit lab just so much here service entrance wiring there's a lot of labs which causes your hands on and as you do something you check it off and you learn it okay that's how you learn so we're trying to cover all the possibilities now a lot of schools will use the labs as part of their curriculum they will do it in the school okay you can do this on your job site you can do this at your facility but then they go home and they do their coursework so you don't have to take up your time at your facility they do the labs there they do the coursework online and we grade them and we keep track of them we send you those reports so you can kind of get a real understanding of where the students are or maybe you're just an individual who wants to learn these things this is the program for you there's a lot of simulations in here uh, that are 3d ish and all this kind of stuff there's the book over here uh, there's a study hub which all your highlights and notes and bookmarks go over there uh, there's just so much here um, that you have flashcards all this type of stuff all available in this program so needless to say as you can tell I'm extremely excited about it I think you should be too because now Electrical Code Academy has come full circle I made the promise back in the beginning of 2019 we'd have our full grounding and bonding series we'd have our full residential uh, we would have a full commercial we got our exam prep stuff we got our ultimate guide we got our fast tracks guide we've got our exam questions so you access to the database of just 800 uh, multiple choice questions that you take to prepare you for exam we have timed ones and we have practice ones there's just everything is encompassing in this here so we're excited this residential course is perfect for journeymen's apprentices helpers uh, even masters could stand to learn a little bit better about laying out their circuits and become a more proficient residential electrician okay if you're wanting to get into the field you want to know where to start this is where you start this is not just a buying a bunch of DVDs this isn't just watching videos this is an immersive course and you get graded and monitored and we are there to help you the whole way we grade them we give you feedback we're there to answer to the administrator of who's doing what whether they're logging in whether they're late whether they're they're living up to their obligation maybe you're basing raises or promotions or whatever based on how they do we will track all those things that's what the program's all about. So we hope you're excited about it. Until next time, folks, stay safe and God bless. And if you want more information on the Residential Wiring 101 or the Commercial Wiring 101 or the Grounding and Bonding 101, 
or the ultimate guide uh, to the NEC or the fast tracks or even the code questions that we offer, go to masterthenec.com or electricalcodeacademy.com. Whatever you want, click on the courses. You'll see it. We're excited. It's a full curriculum. You get 365 days of access, 365 days access to the book. You should finish by then, and then you get to move on to the next and the next. So typically, the first year students do the residential. The second year students do the commercial. Third year students do the uh, grounding and bonding because of criticalness of that. And then the fourth year students will focus on the fast tracks program because that's what's preparing you to take your exam to be a master or journeyman. Kind of the, the whole program's laid out right there. Hopefully you get something out of this, folks. Stay safe. God bless.